What's up everyone? Welcome to another toy pickup video. I have a lot of stuff here from a lot of different fandoms and whatnot. Uh, it's the last few months worth of stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it because I don't want it to take forever. The first thing I have here is uh, Danny with Binks Funko Pop. I don't collect pops like a lot. It depends on what the uh, what the brand is, I guess. And I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus and I have a uh, the Three Sisters and Billy, so I had to get this one. It was a Spirit Halloween exclusive. So yeah, uh, I'm going to use this basically as like a Halloween decoration, I guess. Uh, another one-off here is I have the, the real Ghostbusters Ecto-1. I have the regular Ecto-1, the regular Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from the, what is it, the Plasma series? I don't remember, I don't know what the current series is, but... But uh, I liked this show growing up, and I had a lot of the toys, and I have all the re-releases of the figures, so I had to had to get the Ecto-1, you know? Um, so when we go grocery shopping sometimes, we'll uh, hit Dollar Tree just for some stuff. And I always, you know, look at the toy section. And being a 90s Nick nerd that I am, I always do the Nick box unboxings. Had to grab a couple of these. It's the, it's the only two they had there, but... I mean, for a dollar each, like, why not? We have a uh, Ren and Arnold. That's all. That's the ones they have. Um, any more one-offs? I don't think so. Oh, I guess this. Uh, Turbo Man. This is a re-release of the uh, figure that came out uh, back when Jingle All the Way first came out. If you don't know what Jingle All the Way is, it's a 90s Christmas movie. Um, it's got Arnold Schwarzenegger in it really good check it out um but i've always wanted turbo man uh they they put out i want to say they put out 2000 maybe 2500 of these originally and so they're like between five and eight hundred dollars on ebay and i just knew there's no way i was ever going to get one of those and funko re-released it they're also releasing some pop figures which i plan on picking up but this is a walmart exclusive i couldn't find it myself so my friend actually got me one and sent it to me i paid him of course but i am super excited for that um i have a second one on the way at some point um that i'm going to open and actually display and maybe maybe put it out for christmas or something but so cool so cool uh next up we'll do power rangers i guess um so band not bandai uh hasbro they did do you remember the Power Rangers where you could flip their heads, like, back in the 90s? Well, they, like, basically, they didn't re-release them. Bandai did, but they they made their own spin on it, but they're still retro-looking. Uh, I grabbed three of the four. I found them at Walmart when we were grocery shopping. Um, three of the four new of the new wave of White Ranger, Trini, Yellow Ranger, and Kimberly. Um... It's not technically Kimberly, I don't think, because this is the Ranger Slayer. As you can see, it's not the actual Pink Ranger. Uh, this is the Boom Studios uh, comic book character. She's like a villain in the comic books, I think. I haven't gotten that far in the comics. I'm on issue, I don't know, like 40-something. I haven't gotten to the Ranger Slayer yet, but I assume she's like the other Lord Draken, like troops. I don't know. Uh, Lightning Collection here. We have Lost Galaxy Blue Ranger. We have In Space Black Ranger. And SPD Green Ranger. And this went on Super Sale a while back. Um, it's the Mighty Morphin King Sphinx. I want to say it was like $10 maybe when it was a $30 figure originally. So I grabbed a second one just to open and, you know, play with and display. I have my sealed one still on the shelf over there. Uh, he was one of my favorite villains in the original series, so I think it's pretty cool to get another one to open. Um, my dog kept wanting to play with this, and so my fiancé was like, you should let her have it or get her one. I'm not going to get my dog a freaking lightning collection figure just to destroy. But anyways, uh, moving on to... Transformers now. Uh, we have the uh, Headmaster Hardhead. Grabbed this on a Walmart grocery hunting trip. 
shopping, not hunting. I don't hunt groceries. I shop for groceries. Uh, so you can see it's in the classic G1 box. I don't know if this is an actual re-release like the other ones. I don't think it is. But uh, they put out, I want to say, four of these. This is the only one I have. We have uh, Maximal T-Rex. This is a repaint of Beast Wars Megatron. Uh, they did they did one of T-Rex back in the early 2000s. Um, forgot which line it was, but he was basically the original Megatron, but painted like this. And so uh, Kingdom did it as well. Very cool. We have... Let me take him out of the box here so you can actually see what he looks like. We have Transformer Siege Sound Blaster. I don't think I'm going to get any more Siege figures except for the uh, the Beast Wars, but this is the one I've always wanted. I, I think Sound Blaster's cool. He's like a sound wave, but black. And it came in the typical Takara Tomy boring box, as you can see. <laughs> And then, also Beast Wars related, we have the Optimus Primal Rat Trap 2-pack. Um, I think Optimus Primal is the same as the original uh, Kingdom release, but he might be different. But I know Rat Trap's a little different. They call him Cocaine Rat Trap because his little rat rat nose has white on it now. See? Looks like he's been sniffing some cocaine. Yeah, anything Beast Wars I'm buying up. Like, if the packaging was even just different, I'd probably get it. Um, do you want Star Wars or Ninja Turtles next? We'll do Ninja Turtles. Uh, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA Turtles in Disguise. How do you open this? So you can see four pack here. This thing was super hard to find for a while. Then NECA put, put it up on their website, but my friend found me one at Target and sent it my way. That's basically what happened with almost all of these, because I can never find... Ninja Turtle stuff near me. Uh, we have the the classic, you know, Ninja Turtle VHS style box here with the uh, Troubles of Foot, and it's a Foot Soldier in there. Do you remember the uh, the old VHSs that had the writing like this on them? Uh, this one I found myself. I actually pre-ordered it at Entertainment Earth. This is the Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Baxter Stockman. I wonder why these are so easy to get, but the original, the actual Turtles line is hard to get. I don't know. Maybe people aren't as into the game. I don't know. But uh, I ordered these two off of NECA's site. I couldn't find them in any targets, but if Mondo Gecko, I used to have the original Mondo Gecko. It was a, it's a cool figure. A little, a little skateboard and gecko. And then we have good old Muckman, Muck Everlasting. These are all in the VHS style boxes. I'm glad they at least started doing this for the sealed collectors, you know, so we can actually see our figure in there. Uh, the last thing here is. So, GameStop is one of the companies that put this up on their site for pre-order, and I wasn't going to get it because I already have all these figures, but I caught them slipping with a uh, with a little glitch on their system or something. So I got this for $22. It's got six figures in it. You do the math on how cheap those figures are. And uh, it's the whole, like, sewer place that it comes with uh, all four turtles, uh, Splinter and Shredder, I believe. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. I only spent $22 on that for six figures. I say that's a pretty good deal. Here's what it looks like with the outer cover on. Alright, now we have Star Wars here. First one here, this is the only retro figure I have. But uh, it's Cara Dune. It arrived kind of janky. Luckily, I don't collect the retro collection. Um, I only pre-ordered this one because Cara Dune was starting to fly up in price. And if I ever, ever, ever wanted to go back and collect retro figures, the retro line, I didn't want this one to be like super pricey. So I went ahead and grabbed it while it was still $10. And uh, so yeah, it's the only retro figure I own. I don't really know what line these are from, but uh, they came with 
a, a group of figures my buddy uh, gave me a really good deal on. But uh, Star Wars Legacy Collection here. We have Han Solo. These are the same like size as the Vintage Collection, but they're not part of the Vintage Collection. We have Luke Skywalker. And we have Chewbacca. And they all come with a piece of droid. Now, to uh, this is the line I actually collect for the Vintage Collection. Um, and you will see another pickup, actually. Um, I got protective cases from all my Vintage Collection figures. Um, I need a few more, but, but it makes them look clean, you know? If there's any bent corners or anything, it fixes them. So we have Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. Here's one of the figures I got from my friend. We have uh, Ben Quadineros and Otaga222. It's an older one, older figure. It's another older figure, Darth Sidious. Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have Princess Leia, the indoor version. Queen Amidala. Luke Skywalker lightsaber construction. This is part of the deleted scene Blu-ray collection. We have Captain Rex from Clone Wars. Luke Skywalker. Got this one on sale from Walmart for five bucks and miraculously it showed up in decent shape. I don't trust Walmart at all. But uh, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker, a.k.a. Old Man Luke. Only $5, though. Nice, huh? We have The Child. We have Imperial Death Trooper. Uh, Walmart put a lot of their carbonized figures on sale, so I grabbed a few of those. This is one of them. Uh, Imperial Death Trooper. We have ATST Driver. It's another one I grabbed off Walmart on sale. Uh, Remnant Stormtrooper, carbonized. We have Lando, another deleted scene fig figure. We have Nam Anor, expanded universe. It's from one of the video games. I would love to have some of these other ones. We have Princess Leia in her Sandstorm outfit. This one I didn't know was part of the Vintage Collection, uh, but apparently it is. I think it's called the Lost. No, I don't remember exactly. But uh, it is Darth Vader. I love the packaging on these. I need to get the rest of them. We have Paplu. Paplu. Ewok. Another carbonized figure I grabbed, the Mandalorian himself. And these I do not have uh I do not have cases for yet, but uh we have the Mandalorian but not carbonized. We have Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker Hoth. Uh, Electro Staff Purge Trooper from Jedi The Fallen Order. I love that game so much. Probably one of my favorite games of all time, honestly. Admiral Akbar. Akbar. We have Han Solo Indoor Version. Emp uh, Emperor's Royal Guard. And then last, but certainly not least, uh, I got a second Boba Fett on accident. I don't know what happened. Maybe I pre-ordered it and didn't notice it. But So I decided to open him. Pretty cool. I have three open ones now. I'm just going to display him with the other two open ones. I have uh, Jedi Rey and Luke Skywalker, or Anakin Skywalker. But uh, that is all the toys I have. Um, I kept it under 15 minutes almost. Probably by the time I keep finish talking, it'll be over 15 minutes. But uh, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.